Welcome to the tutorial video for part one of module two. And remember that we're going to create a sample review for a test or an exam, and we're going to make it a group assessment. Let's go ahead and add the assessment inside the module two folder by clicking on add an item right underneath module two, and we'll make that add assessment. I'm going to name it uh, review for the final exam. Okay, and as usual, you can fill out the summary and instructions if you like. So, uh, I think the idea here, the the hypothetical scenario is that we did want this assignment available uh, until class time because we're going to have the students working on this assignment in class. So I don't want them to be working on it beforehand, so I'm not going to make it available until next week when we meet. Right? And so I already finished this week. Uh, my class meets next Tuesday at 11 a.m. So this is intended to be an assignment that they work on in class. Again, whenever you want to make the assignment available at the beginning and then they can work on it starting in class and I want them to be done by the end of the week so say maybe that Sunday at midnight and they can work on this in review mode if they like after the deadline All right, we're going to change the display method. Instead of being skip around, we want to get them more acclimated to the way it will appear on the test. So I'm going to make this full test, but they're going to submit one at a time. So they'll see all the questions as if it were a written test, but they're going to have to hit submit for each individual one. All right, again, we're going to get rid of this penalty for a missed attempt. We don't need that. And the feedback method I like is to do the practice test feedback for this. So as they submit each question, they're going to see whether it's right or wrong. And they can also restart the whole test and do it over. So if they finish and they get a bunch of wrong problems, they can start over and, and try again because we want them to review and to work on this and improve. Now we don't really want them using late passes on this assignment because we want them to finish this before the exam. So we're going to say no late passes. And the gradebook category, there's a typo in the uh, notebook. It says test. Uh, we're just going to say final. Right. And for the calendar icon, let's say this is a review for the final exam. So final exam review, that'll appear in the calendar for the date of Sunday. Well, in, in the notebook, I'm seeing now that, uh, you know, I have them working on this Tuesday in class, and I think in this scenario the final exam is actually that Thursday, the 28th. So I don't want them working on, I want them to finish before then, so we're going to say that it's actually due on the 28th before class starts. Okay. So next week in class we're going to start the assignment on Tuesday the 26th at 11 a.m., and if they don't finish it up in class, they can work on it that evening and the next day. But I don't want them working on it after the exam. So I want them to finish up before they take the final exam on the 28th. All right, now we're going to look at some of the advanced options and change those on this one. So I don't want them doing this review until they've done their homework. Now in Module 1, we created a homework assignment. 
So they'll be able to see this as an assignment, but they won't be able to access it. That's what it means. It, you can make it so they can't see it at all, but then they might not even know it exists. I want them to see it, but see it grayed out. So they'll see that, hey, there's a review to do, but they won't be able to click into it until they get three points on the homework that we created. Now, remember that there was only three problems, so three points is getting a full credit. Um, so the default is that each problem in a homework assignment is worth one point. And uh, you can change that, of course, um, but I want them to have full credit on that homework assignment that we just created in Module 1 before they start doing their review. So this is a way to set up a prerequisite assignment for another assignment. Uh, we're also going to use the group feature, and we're going to say that students can't add members, but we need to add them to a group. So this will be a group set, and you can pick a group set. If you've already created groups for a previous assignment, you can pick that here. If you haven't, it'll create groups just for this assignment, and then you just have to add the students to that group set. So we'll create a new set of groups. All right, that should work. All right, we now have the settings, so this is not being counted in the grade total, but it will appear in their grade book. So it's just an extra assignment that you want the students to do, but it doesn't actually count against them. And it's sort of a good practice test scenario. And we'll hit Create Assessment. And this takes you to the screen where you would add the questions for the assessment. But let's go ahead and keep that open. In parts two and three, we're going to be adding questions to this practice review final. And you'll need to keep that open. Um, go on now to the video for part two of module two.